this video, we're gonna learn how to create glass shadow effect in Adobe After Effects. We'll be using this video clip of a screaming person. First, I will apply the shadow effect. In effect controls, you will see a lot of options. But to make things simple, we will only touch some of these. First, select the view to rendered so that we can see what we are doing. By default, the shapes are set to bricks. We wanna set it to glass. Now it looks like broken glasses. Right now the pieces of these glasses are a little too thick. So I'll reduce the extrusion depth to around 0.06. We'll come back to force in a bit. In physics, I'll increase the gravity to fold the glasses quickly. Next I will add some highlights in the side of these broken glasses. In textures, side mode, select color plus opacity. White is already selected. I'll just need to reduce the opacity. Okay, we need to start the shadow effect just after she is struck with frame. You can split the layers and remove the shadow effect from the bottom layer. There's one way to do it and that's the easy way. But I'll use the force to do that. It will be a little complicated but you should learn this. We'll use the force one. Let me create a camera so that you can see it clearly. Let's go back to wireframe. You see this sphere? When it touches the glass, then it breaks. So we can add keyframes to control the timing. I'll add a keyframe just about here. Click the stopwatch icon in depth to add keyframes and animate it. Okay, right now the background is transparent, so I'll add a black solid. Right click, select new, and then select solid. Also I want to add some motion blur, but if you turn on the motion blur here, it won't work in this effect. So go to effects and presets and apply CC force motion blur. I'll turn off this effect for a moment because it's a heavy effect for my computer. Finally I want to add some camera shake when she is straight to screen and just before the glasses are shattered. Press P for position and hold alt or option and click the stopwatch icon to add an expression. I'll write wiggle and set frequency to 5 and amplitude to 10. But right now it's shaking from start to finish. I want it to shake when she is trapped to scream. We need to add a slider control for that. Select the amplitude amount and pick whip it to the slider control. Now add keyframes to control when to shake. There are some black bars in the edge areas. Press S for a scale and increase it to hide the black areas. Finally add some sound effects and you are done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thank you so much for watching.